Hi, it's Stuart Sutton with One Acre Plus Homes at eXp Realty. I hope you're having a great day so far. We do provide tips on a continuing basis for people who need to sell a home on an acre or more or buy a home on an acre or more. As a matter of fact, we provide tips to real estate agents who ask our advice about this market all the time because it does have nuances and factors that most agents just aren't familiar with. And because that is what we specialize in, we understand those different aspects, factors, and nuances. We're going to talk today about restrictions. If you're buying a home on an acre or more, you're going to want to know exactly what you're getting into. Do you want chickens? Do you want to park your RV or boat? Do you want to add a workshop? Do you want to run your business? You need to know exactly where you stand in these areas. Now, in the small acreage market, when I say small acre, most of what we do is one to 10 acres, but we do up to 20 sometimes. And we actually have quite a few people call us saying, we don't want necessarily an entire acre or more. We'll take a half acre. We just want a little more elbow room. And that's absolutely fine. So we know the half acre market, the one acre market, the five acre market, et cetera, et cetera. If I can help, let me know, of course. But let's talk about these restrictions. Most people will buy a property like this because they want more privacy. There are different types of areas that provide that privacy. There are pretty highly restricted HOAs, and there's an abundance of these. If you just want more elbow room and more uh, privacy from your neighbors, but you want it to be highly restricted, in other words, you can't leave your trash cans out, your garage doors open, you can't park an RV, then there are many areas like that. However, if you want literally no restrictions, you can run whatever business you want out of it, you can park whatever you want in the lot, you can have an area that does not have restrictions. You may have a manufactured home next door to a very expensive home. That's the scenario when you get into areas that are not restricted at all. A lot of people really want kind of the middle ground. They want the space and the privacy, but they don't want the high restrictions or the complete lack of restrictions. In other words, they want to be able to park their RV or boat. They would like to build a workshop if they want to. They may not have a high traffic business, but maybe they do want to run their business out of their home. There are areas that will provide some of these medium areas. Can you build a guest house? Can you build a workshop? Can you raise Rottweilers? You know, what is the uh, scenario? And you need to be very, very careful that you're familiar with the deed restrictions. If you're buying, don't take hearsay. See them in writing. All deed restrictions will be in writing and recorded. And make sure you get the most updated copy because sometimes changes are made to deed restrictions. So you want to make sure you have the most updated copy of the deed restrictions. If you're selling, make sure deed restrictions are available because buyers often ask, can I do this? And if your agent doesn't have the deed restrictions readily available, then the buyer's going to have to wait to get the answer. And buyers aren't good at waiting. A lot of times they'll move on unless they absolutely are in love with your home and won't don't want any other home but that is not always the case a lot of times they're looking at different homes and they want to know what is available to them in the way of restrictions they want to see it they want to know what they can do and what they can't do now we do have a lot of these areas uh, from, we memorized we know what you can and can't do in a lot of these areas because we've just done so much business in them but we do have restrictions on file for most areas around the Austin real estate market and can answer a lot of questions. If we can't, we can get the answer very, very quickly. In other words, I do know most neighborhoods where you can build a guest house or can't build a guest house, where you can park your RV or can't park your RV, where you can have goats or not have goats, things like that. If uh, I can help in any way, of course, again, I'm Stuart Sutton at One Acre Plus Homes. If you decide to sell or buy a home on uh, a half acre or more, feel free to give me a call. Happy to provide any information you need, no hassle, no obligation. And thanks again for taking the time to listen. Remember, it's your choice, so make it a powerful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.